I lived for five years cooped up inside my house in fear of my life. I will never forget. But my life has changed. Now I am a student of medicine and journalism. That's how it is in Afghanistan. Ten minutes from Kabul, we reach the Shamali Plains, the old front line between the Taliban and the Afghan resistance. Life has triumphed, but these ruins bear the traces of a bitter past. Until recently, we were confined to our homes and all images were forbidden. Today, we can travel without the chidori or the chaperone of a male family member. It's liberating, but we have no idea how it will be outside of Kabul. Our first stop is to drink a cup of tea served in the car. The situation is not good for women, especially Afghan women, because it's the first time that a young Afghan woman without chaudhary uh, moved from Kabul to uh, Bamiyan. In that case, I can't go out without chaudhary. This trip was planned well in advance because of the treacherous road conditions. After five hours of travel, we crossed the first snow-capped mountains. We must arrive before nightfall for reasons of security. I knew very little about Bamiyan except the Buddhas had been destroyed. Since that time, the world has spoken very little about this region. Now here in the middle of winter, I discover that several hundred families live here, burrowing like animals in their caves right next to the famous Buddhas. These are the Hazaras. We went to meet Zainab, one of the oldest women in the community. The Taliban burned down her house, killed her husband and her sons. She lives on nothing. Without electricity or water, Zainab must somehow survive. Nola, Mira, the Hana was Balgadrak, so not doing. 